they'll probably just rush me anyway, so here we go, some more reinforced mechs. Quite a few typographical errors, translation errors rather, in this game. Or typographical, I don't know. Okay, so I should probably think about using one of my healing items on him at some point soon, because he'll die if I don't. But you should be able to take this guy down in one now, in retaliation. No, not quite. Never mind, yep, just run away and hide. And we'll never speak to you again. Okay, well she's useless at this point because she's got no MP left for any of her spells. And I don't really want to use my, my MP recovery item at this point. Because I only have one. He can't hit anything, so he can just defend. And I'm pretty sure that charger already defended, so this isn't going to hit it for much. But it might bring it into a range that I can take down next turn in one and then use the moves to kill these. Which have a nasty move, which I have we're quite lucky we haven't seen yet actually. It's very inaccurate, but it can wreck your shit a bit. Okay, turn 10 now. Not doing, making quite a good time at this point. Another kick to the crotch to death. Okay, and now he's hidden in the furthest corner I can possibly get him to at this point, so he can just stay there like the twat that he is. Okay. Let's see if I can take this guy down so I can go firewall the other charger. Apparently not. Okay. Well, she can't really do anything, so she can just defend. And he can't run past it. So he can just, he'll have to range strike it and take it down. Should do the trick. Yeah. More reinforcements. Ah, there, there we go. That's that irritating move that paralyzes people. All, all that basically does is it means his turn automatically ends as soon as he starts. And I can't cure it because I've got uh, no MP. He's going to die in two more hits if he's not careful. So I'll just kill this guy first. Which you should go down in one because these are a lot weaker than the knights. Yeah, easily. And he got his third skill, which is quite nice to have at this point in the game. Heavy punch. Sadly, that doesn't have additional range like it looked like in the shadow. You still have to be stood right next to them, but it does a lot more damage. Okay, I'll have to have her use the MP recovery item so that I can heal him next turn. Complete with ridiculous pose. So, should be able to bring that down in one with a fireball. But from there, the two killers aren't very dangerous. Oh yeah, I forgot about him. Okay, more reinforcements. After this one, I think I'll get Feral out of the way. Uh, Feral, uh, Mercury rather. Bollocks, that weren't, uh, never mind. I'm pretty sure that the only repercussion for that will be he'll lose experience, a little bit of experience at the end of the map. Sorry about that typo. Never mind. Probably won't make that much difference to him, to be fair, actually, because he's a lot stronger than the rest of the guys at the start. We should still, you should still make the first level up easy enough. Oh, finally. Okay, what cover basically means is um, that unit can use, if it uses cover on another unit, it means it defends when they don't, so if I really wanted to, I could now have him go stand next to my unit and have my unit attack with range strike and then have him use cover, and if something attacked, um, RPG, then it would hit him instead. And I can't remember if it hits him for full damage or it hits him for defending damage, but whatever. It's only really useful if you've got it on Furcury, which I don't because I haven't defend him with, defended with him as far as I can remember so far. So let's test out Lightning Spark now. It's not much stronger than Firewall, as I said, and it uses up quite a bit more MP. We should get the job done. Nearly. 
was in a range that I can't solve. And that would be about the last real enemy on the map at this point. All we have to do now is follow it round to the top and keep using defend with him because he has nothing better to do. Really? There's going to be a ton of reinforcements piled up down there now because there's nothing to kill them as they arrive. But they shouldn't be able to follow me because I'll track the three units at the front. And because there's a wall in between where they are and they're straight ahead, they'll just tard and run around in front of the wall. So I'll send these guys up here to follow the path. It's not far from here now, thankfully. So it shouldn't take more than a couple of minutes at most to run around the corner. So we'll just take a quick look at his stats. He can't water walk, obviously, and his climbing gear is quite good, I think, by the circle. He's got a decent dodge, and he's already level 3 in ninja. And almost level 2 in defense. He's also got pretty good uh, strength and defense, but his weakness is pretty bad, although it's only, it's only uh, quotation marks, slightly weak to magic, which is coupled quite nastily with his ridiculously low resistance. So I'll be keeping him well out of the way of any magic users that we encounter. Not that we'll be encountering any for a while, as far as I can remember. Not at least, at least not in the next two battles. The next of which you're lucky enough to have right following this one, because it's short, again. I just, uh, um, space. Just heal him for kits. Bit of healing XP there. 